What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Finally getting around to doing the splitter. So I'm gonna show you how to take off the front bumper and uh, maybe install a splitter today. And uh, also the front grill I'm gonna be changing out to the new 19 just for the heck of it. Um, so let's get started. First things first, take off the wheels to make it easier. So now that we have the wheel off, I'll kind of show you which uh, pop rivets you got to take off. Do yourself a favor and just buy one of these tools. You can go down to your local auto store and just get them. They're for removing these tabs. Just do it. It makes life so much easier, especially for where they are located. So you're going to take off all these ones at the bottom here. So there's this one here. There's this one right here, there's this one right here, this one right here. There's also this little air vent here, which you're going to have to take off all four, right here, right here, right here, and right here. <coughs> Excuse me. You're just going to pretty much take off all the rivets in this top half here, and I'll go around and show you. So you're going to go up to this one, try to get my light right, you're going to go to this one up here. Well, you'll see it. There's one right here, which is about right in the middle. There's one straight up above. Hopefully, you can see that right there. There's one over here across the way, right there. And there's one up as well, right there. And then it's a lot easier if you just go ahead and take off these two right up top one right there and one right there that way it can kind of hang down so let's get those done on this side yeah I'm gonna do this part on my phone because it's probably easier to get a light in there so once you have this all these panels uh, off you can just basically pull it down you know from around the edges right here to about right here is all you need uh, and then you can get out of the way pretty good there's gonna be three screws or bolts that are right up around this corner here so you can see the the holes here but that's not where they are that's where the push pin was they're gonna be right up here in this joint so I'm gonna see if I can get the phone around there and show you where the first one is all right it's right there that worked out pretty good so that's a 10 millimeter the next one is up there you can see it I'll put a little arrow and it's it's up there so it's a little tough to get to but you can manage it I'll show you how I did mine for the first one I just used a um, shoot 3 8 no this is a quarter inch uh, the small socket 10 millimeter it got up there just fine but these are really handy uh, this is a gear wrench so that went up in there and got that last bolt for me. So it's not to say you can't do it, um, but I just wouldn't use a long socket. I don't have any short quarter inch, so I just used my uh, my gear wrench. And uh, these bolts are not very tight. So if you're not, if you get on it and you feel like you've only made like one turn, it's probably true because they're, the other side was just a notch overhand tight. And somebody else said that in another video as well. So I guess it's true for all, all of them. I'm going to see what this side does. All right, now that we got those screws off. There. And up there. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pop off your uh, side marker here. All right, that was kind of a pain in the butt until you know what you're doing. So you can see it in the other video, but that that clip right there goes on. So you have to basically get your screwdriver, a little screwdriver in up under that 
little black piece of plastic right there. Let me get my screwdriver. You have to lift that part up away from the orange plastic. So you kind of got to do it blind a little bit around the corner there, but with a little bit of pressure, it just, it came right off. So that was fun. And then across the top, you're going to want to go ahead and remove all these push pins as well. If you're wondering what that is, it's for my alarm. All right, uh, let's remove all those. And um, on top of that, before you remove all these, there's also a bolt on the top to go along with those three. I already removed this side, but it's right there. It's the same as the other ones, 10 millimeter. I'll show you where the other one is over here that I still haven't taken off. 10 millimeter. That one's easy to get to. So you just gotta take that one off. So there's three total that go along that edge. Okay, and then underneath the car, you're gonna have some of these little screws here and they are going to be seven millimeter. So you have one here. This is where the uh, bumper guards were put on, was this one and this one. That's what holds the bumper guards in. So they're not even necessary. But uh, anyway, there's one there, another one there, another one here, right there, right here, and you can see the other one over there. So make sure you take all those off. All right, boys and girls. Well, I think we have all the bolts and pop pins and everything we need to pull the bumper off. Um, so we'll see what happens. All right guys, looks like it came off fairly easy. The only thing that was giving me trouble was this uh, alarm pressure switch, which I knew it would be because it sticks up like a whole inch out of the bumper. Uh, but other than that, everything came off pretty smoothly. And of course, someone decides to cut wood next door when I'm trying to do this. Okay, so you might notice I have some uh, styrofoam down at the bottom and that's so when I drill through uh, to put the splitter on, it actually gives me about a half an inch or something. Uh, that way I'm not drilling, make sure I'm going all the way through and I'm not drilling into the concrete. So um, let me go get the splitter and measure everything up and we'll get started. All right guys, so I got it out of the box here the splitter ready on the ground and for those of you who don't know this is an SPR splitter I'll put a link in the description below um, I think it was just one of the better looking splitters that kind of followed along with the lines of the car and it didn't have the winglets on the side that go up because I'm not really a big fan of those so um, they gave me a good deal and I got the back little splitters as well where in between the back wheel and the diffuser so I might put those on as well um, anyway I got the, uh, they do carbon fiber, but I just got the matte, um, I actually don't know what they call this, I'm going to composite between wood and styrofoam or something, but anyway, let's uh, put it on and get to it. Got it laid out there, just kind of uh, gauging it, I'm going to go around and do some quick measurements just to see if it's relatively even. You know, so that's about two and a half inches from that lip to that lip and it's about two and a half inches yep right there and that's about two inches well, one and a half
and that's about one and a half. It could probably be tucked in just a little bit more on this side, but it's almost about right. Um, now, unfortunately, I just came across this. I didn't take, when I took this splitter out of the box, I didn't look at it very, very good, which is unfortunate because it looks like this edge was cracked a little bit from shipping. Uh, the good thing is, I mean, you can probably just sand it down a little bit and hit it with a little black paint and nobody would ever notice. Just kind of stinks. Uh, probably not their fault. But it was definitely an impact uh, driven smash there. So anyway, I'm not just going to keep on trucking because I'm not going to take this all off again and do it all over again. I'm waiting on a new one to come in. So let's get it done. Alright, so what I've done here is I've just, I've drilled a quarter inch pilot hole which of course went through the bumper, through the splitter, through the styrofoam, to make sure it went all the way through. And I just use a bolt. Let's see, and these are quarter inch by one inch. Some washers and some nuts. And there you have it. I haven't tightened it down yet. I'm just drilling everything, uh, getting it Kind of situated to make sure I want it where I want it and then I'll tighten everything down so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill the rest of the holes there and put it all in it looks like I might have to modify the fitment a little bit um, where you see these holes that I just drilled that's actually about where the pop rivets go back in for the fitment that I want so I think I'm just gonna see if I can cut out just a little bit of the section here just so I can make sure I'm going to be able to get the pop rivet back into the um, to the bumper, and actually not the pop rivet, the screws to hold the bumper back in. Because uh, if I bring it out to where this clears, the edge doesn't fit right with the edge. Um, so I'm going to see what happens. All right, so you see I've notched some parts out, which will be way underneath the car. It's just this is where the screws are going to go in. That way I can mount it back. Just a little bit further to even it up with the edge of the uh, with the edge of the bumper over there. Let's see how that fits. All right, so I've got the bolts in. One down there, one here, one there, one there, there, and at the other end. Now I put a, a screw right here for a little bit of extra rigidity. To be quite honest, for whatever reason, on this portion of the bumper, it's a lot thicker. So even my one inch screws would not go all the way through to the other side. So I just put a screw in there just, I mean, I had one, two, three, four, five, six bolts in it already, uh, just to give it a little, close that, close the gap a little bit there. So um, looks good. And again, remember this is so the pop rivets can go back in. That's why I cut that out. Seems to be working pretty decent. So time to put it back on. All right, and removing the grill seems pretty easy if you're going to do the grill modification. You just got these tabs here that you push back towards the outside. See how that one's locked in? You just Push it back while you lift it out, and there's just a whole bunch of them to go around the whole grill. So, see how that goes. Just to give you guys an idea on what you're going to be lining up is obviously these pieces right here. And they're going to go in those holes there so it's the same thing on the other side and you've got the uh, the little tab right there and a tab right there uh, those fit under oh let's see where go right here and right there so I think that might be the biggest trouble is getting this little piece to line up some people take that off. I was going to try to do it without it. Just to see how much of a pain it really is. So let's give it a go. 
All right, here we go. <clears throat> I think this is going to be fun because of this alarm thing. I feel like I should tape it, try to tape it down. Check underneath. Okay, so this this metal tab here needs to go behind the bumper. Or yeah, tucked up in there. So you can see it's on its way up under there. But then over here, you know it's stuck. So you just gotta work it back up under the bumper there. Okay, that looks like it's going to line up. So does this one. Got that all back behind up under the bumper there. Okay, so we're into a little snag and now I know why you take off this bottom panel. Let's see if I can let you see if you guys can see this. Oh, freaking wasn't so fat on my creeper. The, the bolt sticks up see and now it's hitting that piece of plastic as well so I don't know if I might have to trim that off a little bit too when I have it out so that's why I think I just need to get just need to take it out and trim those pieces so it doesn't hit the bolt when it's trying to go in because I think there's another piece over here that's doing the same thing just to show y'all what I did real quick I did end up notching them notching the plastic where the screws stick out. Okay, so now let's put this thing back in. All right guys, well, I finally got it all put back together and uh, all in one piece, amazingly. The last part, I kind of want to give the, <laughs> the Dodge engineers a big middle finger. Uh, there was just two little pieces that I showed you at the very end there that were a big pain in the butt. Just the way that they were shaped, they didn't match the shape that they were going into, which is kind of weird. Uh, but that was probably the biggest pain of the whole thing. But I got it in there, and she's all done. So let's uh, take a look and see what you guys think. Right, guys well there she is i hope you like it um as you can see i've got the splitter on and i've got the 19 uh grill and uh, there's one thing i kind of didn't notice or didn't even know until i went to do this so i'll hook you guys up uh, for future reference and the only reason i'm telling you is because you're my homies but uh and it's not going to bother me because i already did it but um the grill is actually different so not only is it just the holes uh, but if you look at the pattern of the grill, it's actually different from the 2018 totally. And I'll get a little closer look. See, you've got these little notches and grooves. And there ain't none of that on the 18. Which is cool. It's more 3D. Like once these are all inset and these are raised and inset and raised. And they have little notches and grooves in them, so there's a lot more detail. But they don't match. But, I mean, to the unsuspecting eye, I guess you really, you really can't tell too much. And it's not the end of the world. Still think it looks pretty good. Um, I, I really, honestly, probably wanted to get rid of the SPR. Gosh, why is it always windy out here? Um, 
just because there's nothing else white on my car. So I went to take off the sticker and thinking it was a sticker. And I think they actually spray painted it on under the sticker. So I don't know. I got to look into that. I don't know if I got to figure some way to black marker that out or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, hope you guys like the way it looks. Um, I do definitely. And, um, I'm going to actually be adding the, the ESPR, their little, um, not canards, but they just sit under the, the, um, rear bumper back there. And then the whole car will have basically a kit on it, um, from the splitter to the easy lift side skirts and the icon diffuser in the back for those of you who haven't seen the car. All right, guys, well, there she is. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. Check out the other videos I have on the Hellcat, and I'll catch you on the next video. guys yeah so unfortunately what you saw there is um, I actually don't know what happened um, I was I left the spot where I take a picture and I uh, just kind of got on it a little bit um, I was already going straight I uh, probably got up to about 70 miles an hour and then all of a sudden started hearing flapping so the only thing I can think of is maybe the wind caught it the right way and snapped it, um, it sucks um, I'm in contact with the uh, with the company right now to see if there's anything that we can do since it was damaged in shipping. Uh, we might be able to make a claim for the damage to where he can send me another one. Uh, going forward, I guess he says I just needed a few more screws up front to make sure that there was absolutely no way that wind could get in between. You know, I thought having all those bolts in there and then the extra screws would have been enough, but I guess it wasn't. Um, I just saw other people installing them with little tiny screws like kind of randomly all over the place and I was like okay well then some bolts and extra screws should be good enough but I guess not so if you're gonna do it um, I guess just put in a whole bunch of screws along right along the, the edge of the lip where it meets uh, the splitter and uh, some extra bolts for security I guess um, so uh, take the guide as you will I guess if anything know how to take the bumper off and do the grill swap so I guess uh, we'll see what happens from here catch you guys later